So today we'll be installing some upgrades and performing some service on a Lenovo ThinkCenter M920Q Tiny PC. First up is the solid state drive. In particular, this is a Western Digital PC SN720 NVMe solid state drive. This SSD is applicable for the system. You could install, for example, a Gen 4 NVMe SSD, but I think you'll hit a ceiling with performance. It's good to keep in mind that though this is a very capable PC, it's not brand new. Next up, there's 16 gigabytes of Samsung DDR4 2666 megahertz RAM. This speed of RAM is actually perfect for the Intel i5-8500T CPU that's installed. Lastly, I have this 80 gigabyte 2.5 inch hard drive. And I know 80 gigabytes is not a lot of space, but it's something and I'll just be throwing it in for free. I'll also be taking this thing apart and cleaning up the CPU so I have some new thermal paste as well. To begin accessing the inside, you just need a Phillips head screwdriver and there's one screw on the back turn. And you'll want to pull the top this way. Here's a brief look at the motherboard, but let's flip this thing around because that's where you can access the NVMe and RAM slots. This is a tool-free access. For this panel, you just need to slide it this way. Here we have access to two DIMM slots and one M.2 slot. You can see there is printing on this motherboard for a second SSD. This model did not ship with one. That would be pretty nice to have that second option, especially if you plan to use this for like a Plex server or an OS. It's nice that they included two thermal pads for the SSD. And there's just a little plastic tab here that you can pull up and then simply put back in. Time for the RAM. Unless there's some kind of error, we don't need to access this area anymore. So let's put the cover back on. Here's a tray for the 2.5 inch solid state drive or hard drive. Let's get that out of the way. So now we want to remove this CPU fan shroud so we can access the CPU. To do this, there's a little lever here that you can push down and then gently pull up. Note that you will be encumbered by cable connections to the motherboard, so it might help to remove the one for the CPU fan. And there's also a cable connection for the speaker. So I've already blown the dust out and given this fan a good cleaning, but I haven't removed the heat sink yet, so let's do that. And again, you'll just need that Phillips head screwdriver. So let's clean off the old thermal paste. And there's our i5-8500T CPU, which is a nice departure from the previous generation of Intel i5 CPUs with only four cores and four threads. Here's our thermal paste. Now for the hard drive, there's a ribbon cable connection for the SATA connector, but first let's put the hard drive in the caddy. And we'll have to install the fan shroud before we get that hard drive caddy in. All right, everything is snug and fitted inside this little tiny system. I'm not going to spend too much more time going over the features of this system. I do have another video which I can link to in the description below, and that will be a full review and testing of what this thing is capable of with everything that I have installed in it today. Okay, now I'm going to install Windows 11 and just make sure that this thing's good to go and I'll come back with the results. Okay, so we have this thing up and running. There's our CPU, our 16 gigs of RAM, the 80 gig Fujitsu hard drive, and the Western Digital NVMe solid state drive. So I'll leave this thing to update and I'll end the video here. Please feel free to ask any questions in the comments below or let me know if you're using one of these in 2024. Otherwise, I'll be setting this thing up to film a new video where I'll be testing out the hardware and seeing what it's capable of. So thanks a lot for watching and hopefully this helped you out.